Welcome to the Moody's Tire and Auto Football Extra. Visit us at Moody's Tire for all your tire and automotive needs. Stop by and see us at 1600 Columbia Avenue. Well, hello everybody and welcome into the week four edition of Moody's Tire and Auto Football Extra. I'm Joe Williams along with Charles Pulliam and Charles, we've had uh, four weeks of football. We kid about this every week. Mm -hmm. This is actually yeah, week five know, right? for us, but <laughs> it's really week four. Yeah. This season is shaping up to be a great one. Well, another great finish last weekend. Great finish the weekend before. Seen some undefeated teams in the county still. And now we got a big game coming up. The big one of the season so far. Yeah, the first game of the year, if you will, happens on Friday night when Ravenwood travels to Independence. Both of these teams are undefeated, both in regular play and in district play. And both teams bring great offensive weapons. Both teams bring very solid defenses. Both teams averaging over 40 points a game. Mm -hmm. uh, Charles, this is going to be a great contest as Cole Brown takes on uh, Andrew Bunch at the quarterback spot. You've got Dom Childress, the Navy signee, yep, yep. facing uh, the Roland brothers. This is going to be a great battle. I'm so looking forward to that. As you look at the quarterback position, Andrew Bunch has been just one of the best we've seen so far this season. He had five touchdowns, two rushing, three through the air last week. And then on the other side, Brown's been very consistent. He's got weapons out there. He's got Van Jefferson. He's got Austin Percy, and he's using them. And it is, uh, it's going to be a real battle. And then on the ground, it's a whole other thing. Seth Rowland has been something. Uh, he coming off a uh, two touchdown, 123 yard game um, versus Dom. We've seen him year in, year out here. And this is going to be a fun one. Dom's statistics maybe not as gaudy, I'll call them, yeah. as they have been in the past because the Eagles have been jumping out to great big leads and he's getting his 80, 90, 100 yards mm -hmm. on eight or nine carries. And then they're saying, hey, we're going to save you. This, I think, is the game we'll see a lot of Dom Childers. Oh, definitely. And he's still busting out those big plays, though. He's getting the big plays. He's finding ways to even – he scored a rush, uh, receiving touchdown last week, and that was one of those big plays where he found the opening. Reminds me, uh, when he's running like that, it's like Emmanuel Hall for Centennial. Same kind of thing. He's just a big weapon out there. He is fast. Now, another great game from the south end of the county. We go to the north end of the county where Brentwood Academy – Still hanging on to that undefeated record. Gets a chance to do a little payback, if you will, as NBA comes calling. Now, Charles, this is maybe one of the, the greatest Division II rivalries uh, in Middle Tennessee. It just doesn't get a whole lot better than this. I have seen games that have come down to one point, two point, field goals here, overtime. Did they get the kickoff? All those questions. This is just an intense, intense rivalry. Oh, it's as intense as you get. You go back to uh, last week, B.A. knocks off St. Xavier in overtime. And right away, the players, Jeremiah Oatsfold, Jackson Pittman, all the guys I talked to right away are like, be sure to come back. we got NBA coming to town <laughs> yeah. next week. They, they make no bones about mm -hmm. it. Oatsfold should be ready after a great performance last week. His third touchdown mm -hmm. in overtime knocked off a nationally ranked school. And that actually put them into the ranks as well as they were ranked uh, according to nationalhighschoolfootball.com. They got them at number 82 in the nation right now because of that big win over the last decade. NBA's actually got an 8-4 to four lead in the overall rivalry. So those are the top two games that we'll be looking at with the Williamson Herald. Other games we'll be watching closely on Friday night. Brentwood travels to Dixon County. Man, the Bruins off to an 0-4 star. Charles, they really need a game here. And this is an opportunity here, but uh, Dixon County is uh, struggling offensively as well. But So that's where Brentwood has some opportunity maybe, as they've been able to get some offense going, but the schedule is just brutal. And Dixon County only able to get, uh, what, I think a couple touchdowns the last two games. So this, will be, this is an opportunity for them. They are not scoring well, that is true. The other district matchup has Summit traveling to Centennial. The Cougars... The opposite side of, of, of Summit, 0-4, the Cougars 4-0. Uh, they have tried to, to kind of build this before as a rivalry. I'm not sure football-wise it's there just yet. Summit's been struggling all year. They've only been able to muster up about 21 points through four games, so uh, still looking for a lot of answers. Yeah, and that Centennial defense is much, much improved. Speaking of uh, improved, Franklin wants to improve on the score. What a heartbreaker last week. They go to McGavick, lose on a late field goal, 31-28. Now the Rebels travel down to Shelbyville, where the Golden Eagles were picked to win District uh, 8 AAA and got beat first thing by Marshall County. They're kind of on the ropes a little bit themselves. Mm -hmm. And Franklin looking to get some of that ground game again. Need the defense to step up as well. This uh, Shelbyville team, they know how to put some points on the board. It ought to be three really good games in District 11 AAA. 
Charles, our final set of three games, uh, not all in the same district, but uh, all in the county. Page travels to CPA. Uh, the Patriots had a week off to get ready for this juggernaut that, is, that it is Christ Presbyterian Academy and the Lions. And uh, you, you hope to see some good things out of there. Michael Roberts has been fantastic on the ground. And uh, this, this CPA team comes back with Jay Hockaday and uh, Zach Weatherly up top. That two-headed monster has been something. That's what got him all the way to face Alcoa in the championship game last year, and those guys are still back. So uh, Paige has got uh, their hands full, that's for sure. Yeah, that ought to be a, a game that uh, creates a lot of interest across mm -hmm. the county anyway. I know a lot of Williamson County folks will be pulling for Paige. On the other side of the county, out on the west side, Fairview. Two and two, one and two in their district when they kind of been looked at as a as a potential district champion. Uh, Coach Chris Hughes, the guys a little bit on the ropes, but I know them well enough. Know they're not giving up. Montgomery Central comes calling. I would not want to be on the Montgomery Central sideline Friday night. That's exactly what I was thinking. Is uh, the Fairview boys are going to come out and this is their uh, a statement kind of game yeah. here. It's like, hey, yeah, we're one and two. We lost in overtime though, and it was a tough one. And yes, we're moving on though. And I think it's a uh, taking it one week at a time kind of thing, and they want to make a statement here. I think you're exactly right. Last game we want to talk about here real quick, BGA. Talk about going on the road. They're not just going on the road. They're going on the road, over the river, through the woods, and across the state line to go to Franklin, Kentucky, Franklin Simpson County High School. Uh, we seem to play these guys in the county quite a bit. A lot of different schools have played them. The question is, can BGA go up there and hold their own with uh, what we would consider a, a 4A or a 5A school in this state? Saw some good things from BGA last week with as they were able to uh, use some defensive stops. Ronald Cleveland had a interception touchdown return there. Um, they also had a blocked punt and actually two interceptions in the game. So the defense was clicking a little bit. The offense still wasn't moving the way they want to, but uh, BGA did beat Franklin Simpson last year in Franklin. Yep. So. Uh, See if they can do it on the road now. Yeah. Those are the games that we'll be following on Friday night. You can follow them live with us on Twitter. Just make sure you follow WH Sports. And, of course, Friday night after all the games are over, we'll have a complete rundown of scores. We'll have stories and videos by early Saturday morning anyway. Yeah, it's an all-night gig for us. <laughs> but that's okay. That's why we're here for Charles Pulliam. I'm Joe Williams. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of the Moody's Tire and Auto Football Extra.